I like creating parts that people need. I also see the beauty in everything I create. In machining, everything is so technical, down to a thousandth of an inch. I take a piece of material and I turn it into a beautiful part with a beautiful finish, using only my hands, my tools, my equipment, and the skills that I've developed over the last 28 years in the shop. After World War II, my granddad became a machinist. In 1972, he built a machine shop in his backyard called Booth Machine Shop to put my dad to work. Fast forward to 1997, my dad put me to work. He needed some extra help, and he brought me on board and started teaching me how to be a machinist, and I never looked back. So back whenever I took over the family business, we had a couple of cheap and expensive hose reels in there that I never really liked. I worked in another shop at the time that had real craft in there and I fell in love with the quality. So I knew that that's what I wanted in my shop because I like tools and equipment that help me do my job that also help me stay organized. After 25 years of hand cranking manual machines, I decided that I want to try to teach myself CNC machining. Relying on computers and software is a lot different than what I'm used to doing, but honestly, I don't want to become a dinosaur and be left behind by technology. I'll always be a manual machinist. I'll always gravitate towards the old ways of doing things, but I also want to grow. I don't want to be limited just because I prefer the older approach. I think that's what being a machinist is all about, whether you're a manual or CNC machinist. You adapt, learn, grow, and you keep making beautiful things.